yeah, the new OEMs fucking suck. No, but uh, actually, the new OEMs are really good. Uh, yeah, video done. No, but uh, really, um, the n we have new OEMs with uh, new tires, and they are actually really good. Yeah, I think everyone felt that the um, game has needed to slow down, um, or at least uh, the people are racing. Uh, I personally think the game uh, should have slowed down, uh, which is hard with the progressive traction on the tires. Yeah, so basically, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, for some reason, uh, this um, means that you have a lot of grip in the middle of the tire, when there's a lot of tire touching the ground, and you have less grip when the, on the edge of the tire when uh, uh, there is not as much tire touching the ground, basically. I think this is a really good solution because it slows down the game without actually slowing the bikes down. Like, the raw speed of the bikes are kind of the same. Um, I think in some ki in some bikes have actually gotten faster, but you have to actually set up for the corners properly, instead of just uh, holding R2 and uh, turning, uh, which we did on the 18 OEMs. So now when you go into a corner, if you go in too fast, uh, the back end is going to slide out and you're going to crash. And if you're trying to hit uh, the gas too hard when you're going out of a corner, the back end is going to slide and you're going to crash. Same goes with flat corners, you can no longer lean until your bars touch the ground. Uh, because then you're going to slide out because you don't have any grip on the edge of the tire. But what you can do now instead is slide the back end. Uh, in corners to like try to turn sharper and it's very controllable which is very good and there is the reason that this works I think this is gonna be great for racing there are gonna be a lot of new ways to make up time I felt a little bit on the 18 OEMs like if it was equal fast to someone or like just a tiny bit faster the only way uh, you were gonna pass them was if uh, they are crashing. But I think there is gonna be a lot of new ways to make up time uh, with these uh, new tires. For example, in the Supercross, you, you can cut down in corners. You're probably gonna do, be able to do that in some uh, outdoor track, but... And also there is gonna be a lot easier to make mistakes, which is the number one reason why racing is gonna be a lot better. Yeah, so I think you're gonna be able to make up time by not losing time. Because in the 18 OEMs, basically, uh, you either just rode the track normally or you crashed. There was no, like, in between. But now you are gonna be a lot easier to, like, slide a little bit in the corner and then you lose one tenth or stuff like that. And I think it's gonna be making racing a lot closer, at least in the pros. I also think it's gonna be more line options because the insides are gonna be uh, a lot more viable uh, both due to increased traction and the uh, ability to put the power to the ground and really accelerate also because you can't just rail a outside anymore you have to take your time to set up a little bit and that works in favor for the uh, insides because you have to enter inside with less speed but you can still accelerate so I think that is gonna make it a lot easier to pass as well because it's not gonna be one line that is uh, the good line because there's gonna be more than one line that is viable I also think it's a lot easier to hit the inside corners because your tires are not grabbing the edge of stuff I felt that was the number one problem with the insides uh, on the recent bikes is that you go into inside and you just touch the edge of something with your tire just a little bit and the tire either just tucks on you or it grabs it and you go in the wrong direction so that is a huge plus and I, one more reason why it's gonna be a lot more viable to take uh, other lines and I think the same goes for e-road because now that the bike doesn't grab the edge of things uh, it attracts the e-road a lot better and just ruts in general 
So instead, that if you hit the edge of the road, it grabs it or tucks it. Uh, yeah, actually, use slides on it, so you can come into a corner and you just lean and you just hit the gas, and the bike will follow the rut. And that is one of my personal favorites uh, about this update because it's it's just so fun coming into a rut and not have to worry that you have to be super precise and don't hit the edge of the rut. So it's a lot of stuff that is gonna open up uh, new opportunities for what we can do in this game. I am interested to see how the scaling is gonna be, uh, especially on the Supercross, because I feel like the bikes might be just a tiny tiny bit underpowered for some of the tracks that we have now. But for outdoors, the tracks I have played so far, the, the scaling is quite good. Yeah, um, that will do it. I have, uh, yeah, I don't have anything more to say. I'm not that um, creative. Yeah.